So I'm gonna do this at work, so it's fast. This is Ray's Blake template. This is orange, the grid paper. So this is a printer that I have at work. This is here. This is the one, green paper. And I want this to print not in orange, but in gray or black. So I go to properties, I put it in the paper quality, I'm gonna put it in um, economics. Then I go to options and I activate in this printer, gray, high quality. And I go and I, I accept it and there, here you have to be sure that is not adjusted. Well, it's adjusted, I'm sorry. Adjusted to the print area. And also, you need to make sure that your printer is set up to double pages. I usually do it manually. So this is none because it means that manually I'm gonna turn the page over. That's good. So this is what I do and I click all, it has two, two in this, so what I will do is just print and I go to accept and it will print two pages. So yeah, it's a little bit slower. There you go. I'm gonna turn this on because this is not on, <laughs> sorry. I hope this works as a template show, oh, I'm sorry, as a way to show you how to print and how you will get it. So what, uh, while I wait, I will go and give another order, to, uh, prepare the second order to this. So I just leave it there because I already mark everything. So here it is. This is how it came out, the first page. second page. If you notice the spaces here and here are almost the same. So what I do is I take this out and since this printer printed like this, this is how it came, it means that I need to flip it for it to show in the right place. In this particular printer, that's how it works. So I put it there and I give the order again to the printer for two pages. This is how I do it most of the time. It's a little bit slow, but I will show you how this go out. It's perfect. Here, I will show you in the first page. Here, you can see there that it's almost a finger. If I turn this around, you will see that it's the same. <laughs> so that means that when you fold it, it's not going to be there. You can see there's no difference whatsoever. So it's going to be perfect, just perfect for what you want to do. Then you fold it, you cut it to size, and you have yourself booklets. I will show you how to cut booklets in another clip. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip, boys and girls. Bye-bye. So, I want to show you the next step to make a Midori insert. This is my Fobonichi that I used for July, and I'm going to use this to measure the width, the height I know, the width, is what I'm trying to find. So I'm usually, I know that the Midori usually is 11 centimeters, but I use 10 and a half, so I can have like 5 or 6 inserts. So I'm gonna measure this. Remember that I print some craft paper? What I did, and I'm going to show you, it's easy. This is how it printed out. So what I did was I folded in half completely, really in half, and 
there you have it. So, what I do, if I put, yeah, I fold it in half and put a lot of them inside of each other. So, here. What I do now is I just, there, and I take my ruler and I measure and mark with my pen 10 and a half centimeters. That's for me. If you want to use a regular size Midori you, uh, insert, you just mark 11. But I will mark 10 and a half. Just a little mark there. Another mark on top. Sorry, I just need to check this to make sure it's okay. Ten and a half there. Then I make a line here. Very thin line. Just a mark. I don't know if you can see it. There is a mark there. So, but instead of taking the paper card and start cutting this, first I'm gonna use a big needle. Uh, can you see this? A big needle and some thread, and I'm gonna bind my booklet. So I'm going to take a little bit of, I usually eyeball how much uh, thread I need, cut it, and I usually use a little bit uh, smaller needle, but what I need to do first is I open up to the middle, and I usually don't measure, if you want to be good you can measure centimeters down here and up here and then make the holes, but I just do it by looking at it. So I just mark whenever I want it. I flip it over and I take this. You can see how I took it? So I don't cut myself and the needle won't go through my. So I push down and there you have it. There is a needle between my fingers. So what I did was I make a hole and I put the, the needle completely out and that makes a hole here I do the same on top I do the same just eyeballing and pushing down be careful don't push down like here put it down here and put pressure on it so you won't get a needle through your fingers. And if you're an underage person, ask for someone to make this for you. At least this part. This is a little tricky when you do the needle, but I still can do it. Ah, there you are. See, it's not perfect, but for me it will work. So, I should have put it a little bit up, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. So, I usually, what I do is I took a little bit small needle, not this one, but for this case I'm going to use this, and I'm going to put the thread through the needle, and I will show you what I do. I make a note in the end here and I start from the back from the back in the middle the middle hole back to the inside there then you can go each way up or down whatever you want I'm gonna go up first you can see here I took out the needle, and then I go to the bottom hole, and I took it, and it's tricky, you sometimes you just have to wheel the paper out, so 
sorry. See, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Uh, it didn't perforate my finger, but it hurt. So, you need to be careful. Also, when you thread this, be careful. This needs to stay out. So I go from the top to the bottom, then inside, then I go to the middle again. I know that there's a lot of people that do better tutorials than me when it comes to this part. So what I did is I took the needle again through the hole in the middle and I just do this. You can see that now I have this thread loose here and I have one side and in the other side I have another. So what I do is I pull uh, lay it flat. I pull it to make sure that it's tight and then I tie a knot so I can secure it. Then I do it again two or three times. There it is. I have my booklet. Now, what needed to be done next is to cut this. And you know how to cut this. You put the ruler in the mark that you made before. And you take, I'm sorry, I'm going to take this. Uh-huh. Here. You take one of this. You know what this is, right? Yeah. So you start mark there and then you start doing this motion over and over again until you cut all the papers. I will show you when I cut it all this because I don't cut it in the wood table because it leaves a mark and I don't have a cutting board. So yeah. See you in the next clip. Bye. Okay. So I wanted to show you something else. We have the insert now cut. So it's the same size as this one. Same size in height. Sorry. In the height and everything. You can see it's the same size completely. I took a nail. thingy. <laughs> I don't remember the name in English. What I do is I put it like this and I do this. I rub it like this a little bit. Not much. And I don't uh, press too hard on it. I just took the edge of it. I just I take the, the the edge of the paper so it won't cut you if you cut if you touch the paper. So yeah, like this and uh, that's it. I have my insert. What I don't have is a cover for my insert. So what I'm gonna do is I could use this folders that are like this. It's easy, you can buy them, they are cheap um, and you can use it. I already use one. You can see here I already use one like this to make this cover. As you can see, this is my uh, my normal journal that I use on uh, July. So I use this as a cover. So I was thinking that I could use this the other side to make a cover, but I don't want to use this. I'm gonna use this piece of cardboard. So. What I do, what I did actually, is I measure, took my longer ruler and I put it down to the edge and I measure. I usually do it like this, so I will show you how I do it. Um, 22 centimeters here and what I do is I do this and I put 22 up here. Then I measure 21 here and 21 here. 
So I do that and I put the one here. And then I connect the lines and here you can see it. I think you can see this here and also here. And I took this and I just used my scissors and cut it. You could use, uh, you could also use, let me grab it, um, this, you could use it, but since it's only a sheet, I decided that I will do it with the scissors, it's more easy. Um, you can use uh, another, any kind of uh, scrapbooking paper that you want, or cardboard that is not too thick. I think some people use, uh, if you want to go cheap, you could use even um, cereal box cardboard to make this, and it's fun. So why I measure 22 centimeters, uh, because I have decided that I wanted to make this completely covering my, uh, my insert. And it's all green. You can see that the I don't know if you can notice, but all the pages that I print are in green paper, and this is green. So actually, it's the same kind of green. Yeah, it's the same kind of green. So what I do is I take this and I put it here. See? So I put it here and I just fold my cardboard in half. Uh, yeah, there, just right there, right there, right there, and I'm try to not press too hard, so it's kind of rounded, it's not too sharp, so I put my insert in it, and there I have it. The thing is, I need to do what I did at the beginning, you know, with the needle and thread. Well, that is something that I need to do again to have my insert. But something else that I need to do is, if you notice here, you can see it. It's not exactly the same size. It's a little bit uh, bigger. So when I I, am, I ended up stitching this again, I could do it while when I talk. So yeah. Um, What I do is I sew it again and I use the big, in this case I'm going to use the big, um, the big needle because I don't have a small one at hand. So that's what I'm going to do and um, I'm going to do a double thread. I'm going to show you what I do. So you will have no problems doing the thing. What I do is I take the two sides, you can see the, the two threads, and I took them together, and then I make the knot together. So, there, we have it. I take this and I can cut this. Whoa. I can cut this. I can cut this. Nice and out. Complete. So I grab this and I start working. So what I do again is I put this inside and I make sure that it's completely inside and in the right place. So I poke the holes again through the cardboard. It's more easy because it's only one sheet of cardboard instead of a lot of sheets of paper. So I do this with all the holes. As you can see again, one hole, two holes, three holes. So again, I start from the outside go inside, and it's a little bit tricky with this, so you just have to be patient, 
have to have patience and do it like not rushing so yeah there the first one I go to the top ouch like this and I go to the bottom here and I I usually tend to do this like this because it's more easy for me to put the needle through the hole so yeah I have it here then I go again in the middle and I make sure that it's on the other side there we have a full insert again completely done I can cut this make a knot okay come here there there we have it then I can just tie it here and tie it here and again a third time that's it now my insert has a cover like I told you and you can see here is not the same size so what I can do is I just close it take my pen sorry took my pen leave the first um, flap like this let me show you more I do this only the cover so I took my pen and I wrote it down here I do the same on the other side and I make a fine line here why so when I can open it I can have a line you can see that right here so I can cut this with no problem whatsoever I take my scissors and I do it I just it's more easy for me to do it like this and this insert if you're asking about it or wondering yourself about what I'm gonna use this for I already have a use for it and that's the reason why it's green uh, it's gonna be my health related insert so what I do is I cut this I'm sorry I'm not showing you how I cut this but you know how to use a pair of scissors and uh, I will try and show you how I do this I try to cut the straight line that I can the straightest line that I can there 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 ha we have it yep we have it something that you could do if you have one is use one of this hole punch uh corner punch and you just put it there and round it the corners and I do that for all the inserts that I have for my Midori I use I use this and I do it not only on the covers but in the pages that you can see here it's all rounded so that's what I'm gonna do something else that you can choose is you can pick which side you want it to be the upper and the down side so I guess this could be down and this could be the upper yeah this is gonna be my first uh, side the, the, the side that is gonna be the, the front side so I'm gonna take some glue and I print this or oh, today I print this and it says do it for the holy shit you got hot so yeah that is gonna be my mantra for weight loss and all that so I'm gonna use the glue sorry I'm not showing you anything I'm gonna use the glue here and just put some glue on and um, yeah then I paste it on the you can use a double-sided tape all that kind of glue whatever you want you can use it. This is for me. So I'm going to use it like this. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Uh -huh. 
Okay, I'm just, I just need to there so it doesn't have any kind of bubbles. And now I see that my glue is not good, so I'm gonna do this uh, after it dries. Probably I'm gonna have to use another kind of glue or take it out and put some uh, double sided tape. I think the double sided tape will have been better from the beginning, but yeah. I try to do some stuff with you. Um, but yes, this is my insert. And now you have it. This is how you made your insert from the beginning to the end. I hope it has been useful. Um, you can also don't make any cover. This is only paper. And I just glue this here. That is, And that's my fold already. So, yep. And that's just it, I guess. That's all that matters right now. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And I will be seeing you again in the next video. Bye.